welcome to Scandacore's support video series for our equipment. Today we're going to be showing you an operational video for the Graphic Wizard PT330 Mini Creaser. This is a tabletop creaser. It only does creasing but it's a very small compact simple to use creaser that can be very beneficial for a lot of small print shops. So the unit here on the table has very simple components. This is the exit tray here. It is locked in place with two little locking levers. You just flip them up, you push the tray forward and you can take this tray off. Very simple to take it off and you can see then set it back on. You just drop it down over those, drop it down over these two screws here and pull it forward away from the machine just a little bit and push the locking levers down and that tray is now locked in place. You also have two magnetic guides that you can put on the tray in whatever configuration you want for acting as a backstop for the sheets coming out of the machine. You also have an extension for the infeed. This is also very easy to assemble. It has three screw eye slots and there's three cap screws right here. You just loosen them off a bit. You slide the tray on so that the screws go through this hole and then you'd settle it down and then you would tighten those screws up once it's in place. While we have this off, here is your power cord. Here is your power switch. And this is your label with the model and serial number of your machine. So to put this tray on, we just go in here like this and just set it down. And then we would tighten those screws up. The only other thing left to set up then is when you take your piece of paper that you're going to use, you want to set it on the tray. This guide back here is fixed. You set your sheet in along it, square with it, and then this movable guide here, magnetic guide, you slide it up against the sheet until it is just supporting the sheet nicely. You don't want it to have any drag on the sheet, but you don't want the sheet to have any amount of side to side room either. So that it holds that sheet nice and square and nice and steady without actually putting any drag or resistance on it. This lid here opens and you can open this lid and this is where your creasing bar is and your sensor for the lead edge is right in under here. That sensor will need blown out down there with air every now and then to keep the sensor clean. You can see it looking straight down here. It's the little chrome colored tube that's down farther in by the roller. To turn the machine on, you simply connect the power cord and turn the button on. It now goes through a boot up. It says welcome and then it run, comes on to the run screen. So this is where you could run a job this does come up with the last job that you ran. This is also the screen where you start to either program a new job, recall a job from memory, or save a job. So you have your mode button here. Push it once, and this takes you to input crease data, and you can input your creases for the job that you're programming. So I want to do, say I want to do my first crease at four inches, I would push four, and then the enter arrow, and that now automatically goes to the second crease position. I want to do that at 6.5, so I go 6.5, and I hit my enter. This now comes to the next screen where I can enter my third crease position. Say I wanted to do that one at eight inches. You go eight, enter. Now that's the end of my job. I only have those three creases. If I only had two creases, I would only input two numbers, but the point is, when it bounces forward to the next number, it is blinking, you simply hit enter, enter that fourth position as a zero, and that is how you tell the machine that you have completed programming your job. So I now have the three creases programmed, 
And in order to run that job, I can simply take my piece of paper, I can push the start switch, and I can put my paper in and feed it through and run it. And it stops and does those three creases at the correct spots. You can see that they're a very nice crease, very consistent, very uniform, distinct crease. This is my stop button. You can also see now this has come up with a C4 error, no paper or a jam. It simply means that the sensor didn't detect a, a paper going through the machine. So this is a typical error that will come up if you have a jam or if you don't feed a paper soon enough. You simply hit the clear button and that clears that error and you're ready to go again. Now I want to go through the modes of operation on this. So we push the mode button once, that's where you input your crease data. Push the mode button a second time, this is where you could recall a job. Push it a third time, this is where you would save a job. Supposing I wanted to save this job, I could save it as job number one, or I could go number two, and I could save it as job number two or three, all the way up to, I think, quite a few different job saving positions in this unit. The, you then push the enter button and it says save job successful and it comes back to the ready screen you're ready to run. Now if you want to recall that job you push the mode once, push it a second time, recall job number, job number two, I push the two and I'm recalling job number two. I push the enter button and it says recall successful and it brings up those numbers and puts them right in there. To go further through the mode, you push it once as your input, data, recall, save. The fourth push takes you to your speed control. You now have low speed or high speed, and the little asterisk there denotes which one it's running on. Right now it's running on one. If I wanted to change it, I would just simply push two on the keypad and push enter, and it would move it to high speed. And it comes back to the default screen. If you scroll through and you happen to go farther than you wanted to go, you can simply push it until it comes back. After the fifth push, it comes back to your ready screen.